So a physician assistant is a mid-level healthcare provider. It's someone who is trained to diagnose, examine, treat patients, prescribe medications. We really practice a full spectrum of medicine, but under the supervision of a physician. So the history of the physician assistant profession is very interesting. It came about in the late 60s, early 70s, at a time when this country was facing a physician shortage. Um, there were also medics from the military coming back from the Vietnam War with all these great, valuable medical skills, but no civilian role. And at Duke University, North Carolina, the first PA program was born. The difference between a physician assistant and a physician generally is length of training. A physician assistant has two to three years of postgraduate training, whereas a physician has four years plus a residency. The first year of the program is basic academic sciences, and the second year of the program is rotations through core disciplines in medicine, and that typically is a one to one and a half years of training. And then at that time, you do graduate, and you take a national certification exam, and then you become licensed in the state in which you will practice the physician assistant becomes part of a PA physician team. Physician assistant stays current with medicine by reading journal articles, consulting with um, colleagues. We are required to have 100 hours of continuing education every two years, and we are required to take a recertification exam every six years. Some of the similarities between a physician assistant and a physician are the ability to order lab tests, order x-rays, interpret those lab tests and x-rays, come up with a diagnosis and implement a treatment plan. Prescribing medications, a physician assistant can also do that. Small procedures, um, first assisting in surgery, but you would, a PA would not be the lead surgeon. A good PA will know their limits of what they're able to do and what they're not able to do and refer appropriately.